my favorite time of day when Chef Bud comes and cooks for me. I'm so excited to see you. Your favorite time <laughs> of the day. My favorite time no of the pressure. day. No I'm pressure. No pressure. Really when anyone cooks for me, I don't <laughs> mind. But yours is the best. Well, I thank you. Admit. Well, we're glad to be here. And we're going to do a I, – I was telling him earlier off camera that I did this for him in advance so that we didn't have to fill the uh, – a studio with smoke. <laughs> right. Blackening is one of those things. Now, Meredith, blackening, I, I thought about this after I chose this. Teach me because I don't well, know Well, blackening is one of these things you got to be pretty committed to. So okay. this is, <laughs> I don't know if this is Meredith proof. I, I'm concerned about buildings and skillets. And I am fire too. But there's some, there's some real simple things to blackening. And I got this going here. First thing is always a cast iron skillet because okay. you're trying to get intense heat. Mm -hmm. So this is the only kind of skillet that will take that kind of heat. Try to use a sauté pan, it'll probably break down on you, okay? okay? Second thing is you always want to make sure your meat stays cold. Mm -hmm. You want the, the meat going into the skillet cold because what you're actually doing is you're actually burning the so. spices onto well, the meat. Well, I'm good at burning. Well, see, this uh, this may be right up your alley. This, I could do so, this. So what we did is rather than buy a uh, uh, Don Perdomo is very f famous for making uh, the old uh, spice rub and everything, or Paul Perdomo, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. And... Uh, I, I've done it out of McCormick Spice, and what we've done, we take a little bit of coarse black pepper, some smoked paprika, some coriander, okay. and a little bit of cayenne pepper, and we've put them together into a blend. I added a little bit of garlic to that. Now, there's two, there's two uh, uh, kind of schools of thought. One is to take the chicken breast and just basically brush it with the butter and the spices. What I do, and I don't have it here, but this is an example of it. This is a piece of chicken, actually like these were, that was marinated in it. So what I do is I put it into a bag. Okay. With a little bit of oil and let it set for overnight, eight hours up to overnight. Okay. And what it'll do is it'll, it'll it'll really adhere to the uh, chicken. Okay? okay. So then what we do is we get the skillet real hot, put in some butter. Now again, you can brush the chicken if you want, or just put the butter into the pan, mm -hmm. and then you just set it down into the pan. Okay. And it's gonna it's gonna uh, smoke and it's gonna cause all kinds of problems, <laughs> which concerns me a little bit. Well, see, and that's what yeah. I'm used to. But so what's gonna happen is. <laughs> and here's yeah. another question I have for you: Is okay. when is the chicken done? The yeah. chicken is Because I'm the done. I cut into it fifty thousand times, about and then three, it's dry. About three to four minutes each side, okay? Okay. Depending on how thick the the chicken breast at is. At high heat. At high heat. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna pull these out and let you see, and you can see how they they crust up really nice, uh -huh. and that's what you want. You want that crusting. Okay, then while we get ready to make the salad, we're going to throw the pineapple into this skillet. Ooh. And what happens is, you'll see me do this later on this year in the summer, we'll put a little bit of the blackening spice on there. Okay. And, and in the summertime, I do this a lot with shrimp and pineapple. Yeah. Because what you're going to get out of this is the, the pineapple obviously has natural sugars in it. Yeah. So it's going to caramelize, okay? So it's going to have a nice little flavor when you go on to your uh, thing. Now we're going to take the, we got the, we got some spring mix here. That we blended together with some cucumbers, and you could you could toss everything together if you want to before you put it in. Mm -hmm. um, we're just going to put this on there, okay? Okay. And then the ingredients up on the screen. Here. Yep, and then we're going to add some strawberries to the top of it. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things with a lot of my cooking is you'll see the the uh, heat with the sweet. I like to put <laughs> sweet things with hot things. These are, are uh, sun dried tomatoes, and they're sweetened sun dried tomatoes. Okay. Okay. We'll move these around a little bit in here. See how they kind of blacken kind of up like up the. Yeah. Okay. I just blacken all my food. Yeah, I'm doing actually, right. actually, I, I was actually, I actually did really well for myself and didn't know it. Uh. I, I actually was right up your alley. Yeah. We're gonna cut the chicken mm. here, okay. and you can see how the, you can see how, see how it crusts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, over the top. Put this over the top of it. Oh, that is okay. gorgeous. Now we're gonna take. Our pineapple out. Uh huh. How pretty that is. Put the pineapple around. Okay. I think we got a lot of colors going on. A lot of freshness going yeah. on. Oh, yeah. That looks fantastic. Now, if you're not Steve Walsh, Steve Walsh, Steve Kirsch. <laughs> Tomato I got to be. I got so many friends here. I, you can put a little goat cheese on the top of it. Uh -huh. Okay. I'll make you one without. Don't worry. I Thank know you. you're freaking out right <laughs> this now. This one's no, mine. And then, heard. and then one of the good things is a little bit of raspberry vinaigrette over the top of that. Oh. And you just want to kind of hit it a little bit. You don't want it to go crazy. Okay. Okay. You want to you want to rely a lot on natural flavors in this dish, mm -hmm. a lot on the chicken, the crusting of the chicken. You're gonna get a lot of heat out of there, mm -hmm. and then you, the fresh uh, fruit in there will really make a big difference. Um, going forward into the into May, we'll do a bunch of barbecue stuff and stuff like that. Next That's week, good. I think we're doing a steak sandwich. So there you go. Awesome. Well, you know you.
you put yourself out there, Chef, because <laughs> I have your cell phone number, and I'm trying all these cooking, and so, you know, if you get some calls. If there's a fire, call me. I might. Yeah. All right. I or might the fire department. need your help. <laughs> really quick, let's recap that uh, Mick Cafe question. You stumped yes. him, Steve, but I think you really? know Who is the first head coach of the Dallas Mavericks? So if you know that, call us. And we appreciate you. Thanks yeah. for having Come me. I'll Thank see you, you next so week. Much. I'm going to eat. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you.